a body was found behind a refrigerator in an active grocery store 10 years after he went missing. A blizzard was raging outside and Larry just got into a fierce argument with his parents. He stormed out of the house and he walked down the street and he started feeling cold. He started feeling shivers and the only place he could think to seek refuge was the grocery store that he worked at. The grocery store was closed so he had to break in but it was a safe place for him and he felt that was the best spot to go. Larry's emotions got the best of him and he was still very angry while he was in the store. He made a reckless decision and decided to stand and climb on top of a refrigerator in the grocery store. As he tried to get a better position on the refrigerator, he ended up losing his balance and slipping head first and he's wedged where he couldn't move. He was stuck. The space was crammed. He couldn't move. He felt the hum of the refrigerator on his face. It was warm and then the wall behind him was cold. He started to panic and freak out. Sweat starts dripping down his face as he tries to move his arms, but he is stuck. When the store opened the next day, he tries to call for help, but there's one problem. The refrigerator makes a loud noise, a big hum, hmm, and no one can hear him calling for help. He's literally stuck there helpless. That night, the grocery store closed. He saw the lights shut off and a sense of dread began to fill in his body. He knew he probably wouldn't make it. The days turned into almost a week, and unfortunately, Larry probably died of dehydration. All while people were actively shopping in this grocery store, nobody knew, no customers knew, no workers knew, his family didn't even know where he was. He was filed as a missing person, and no one had any idea that Larry was pleading and calling for help while he was wedged behind the refrigerator. For nearly a decade, Larry's disappearance remained unsolved. It wasn't until 2019, the No Frills grocery store was undergoing renovations. They were taking apart shelves, they were remodeling floor. That means that they have to move the refrigerator. After they moved the refrigerator off the wall, they found Larry's body. They had to do DNA testing and it proved that it was actually the body of the missing grocery store worker, Larry. The discovery revealed that Larry was actually trapped behind the grocery store refrigerator for seven years while it was operating and three years while it was closed for renovations. So whenever you're in a grocery store, there's a possibility that there's a body behind one of the refrigerators.